Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. So there's a lot of misconceptions out here with what the life of a lone wolf really is. And so I'm here to clean it up, here to clear it up for everybody. So the main thing that one needs to know is that uh, you got two types of wolves that end up no longer with the pack. One is the wolf that chose to leave on his own. And the other is a wolf that was driven out from the pack. Now, this can be for both male and female. So he wolf, she wolf or wolf, she wolf, however way you want to say that. But here's where I start to break it down to everybody. The wolf that chose to leave the pack, whether age or just because of desire. That's the lone wolf, the wolf that was driven away from the pack. That was considered the rogue wolf. So there you go. Lone wolf versus rogue wolf. So even hunters make the distinction. Hunters do not shoot lone wolves. Because lone wolves behave totally different than rogue wolves. A lone wolf, first of all, when it is a wolf uh, that is alone, if you will, <laughs> he does not howl. He does not really bark. He does not mark his territory like wolves that are in a pack amongst each other. A rogue wolf, being that it was driven from the pack, it's pretty reckless, you know. Hence why it's a rogue wolf. He might do things like howl and mark territories and cause havoc amongst anything, even livestock. This is why hunters call these wolves rogue wolves. And even the wolves themselves, if they could speak human language, they would say the same thing. But hopefully this kind of explains it in a brief nutshell for everybody. Signing out.